All new at 10, Carito Cane, a familiar plant along the Rio Grande, but it could soon be entirely done away with along the Texas-Mexico border. Action 4's Annalise Ortiz joins us live to explain why. Marcy, you might not think that uprooting a plant would be a step towards increasing border security, but a bill that now sits on the governor's desk aims to do just that. Now, the plant we're talking about, Carrizo Cane, which grows wildly along the banks of the Rio Grande. You'll come right back. You'll come right back. It looks and feels like bamboo, but this pesky plant is Carrizo Cane. It causes lots of headaches for Gerardo Flores, who works at Anzaldúas Park, which sits along the Rio Grande. Right now, how can you see with all of that scrub and Carrizo in the way? His staff battles the unmanageable plant, chopping it down only to have it spring back up and obstruct the view of the river. But the plant is a bigger problem when it comes to securing the border. Carrizo cane isn't just a nuisance for the staff of Ansel Duas Park. Because it's so thick, it becomes a prime hiding spot for people trying to get into the country illegally. The Texas legislature wants to start a program that eradicates Carrizo cane on the Rio Grande to make the border safer. The National Border Patrol Council says it will help Border Patrol agents do their jobs. Our boats can't maneuver into it. Our agents can't get out there because of the water. We can't apprehend anybody in there because we can't get in there. He says even aerial and thermal imaging equipment is sometimes not enough to see people hiding in the Carrizo cane. Getting rid of it for good will fix that problem and keep the people crossing safe. You know, a lot of times they're, they're you know, young kids, women, uh, children, and they get tangled up in this, and, and sometimes it can be fatal. And Flores says it will be a plus for Ansel Duas Park. We want the park to be clean. We want it to look nice and clean. Now, the State Soil and Water Conservation Board would be responsible for developing that Carrizo cane eradication program. Right now, there's not been a decision made on exactly how they will go about getting rid of it, but it could cost an estimated $5 million a year to do so. Live outside the Farm McAllen newsroom, Annalise Ortiz, Action 4 News. All right, Annalise, thanks for that live report in Hidalgo County.